At the one time, the team of a small brand of cigarettes, which owned 1% of the market, was able to come up with a brilliant marketing strategy and take over the entire industry. And no matter how the press of the time spoke about the dangers of smoking, the Marlboro company was able to become the number one of cigarette brand. And now I will tell you how they did it. In 1964, the US press began to print articles in newspapers that smoking causes cancer. As a result, sales of all cigarettes instantly fell overnight. The big brands knew that uh, this was bad news for their businesses. So they immediately began to conduct their own research to disprove the words of the experts from the newspapers. Of course, it is impossible to prove that cigarettes are not harmful to health. So a company came up with the cigarette filter to reduce the effects of smoke on the body. But it also didn't help them win back customers. At this stage many brands realized uh, that they would make much less money. And so it was. But Marlboro didn't want to give up and eventually it took them less than one year to become the fourth biggest brand in the world. If you want to ask how they did it, then my answer will consist of one word rebranding. In the beginning the target audience of the company were women, but they decided to change direction and remake the brand uh, for the male target audience. Marketers knew that men love the smoke and should love their cigarettes because they are softer and more flavorful than others. The only problem was that all men knew Marlboro as cigarettes for women. To change this, a special advertising character was created, Marlboro Man, a brutal cowboy that all the men of those times wanted to be like. Now attention! The idea was to make men feel more masculine while smoking their cigarettes. In fact, they were selling the illusion of brutality. Marlboro Man was stylish and brutal and soon became a male symbol of freedom. It's funny that it worked. Consumers liked Marlboro Man and sales of the brand increased. Within a year, the company went from a market share of less than 1% to the fourth largest brand in the world. This character changed the history of the company and the culmination is that all the promotional videos were not advertising cigarettes at all. And this is the biggest marketing inside. In every video there was a Marlboro man, strong, hardworking, fair and cool. The person every man would like to be. And there is nothing wrong with the fact that the hero just smoked cigarettes of the same brand. The Marlboro man was everywhere, on billboards, on TV and in the papers. And even after the authorities banned tobacco advertising on TV in 1971, Marlboro adapted easily because they didn't advertise cigarettes. They advertised the image of the ideal hero that men want to emulate. During this time their sales were growing, whereas competitors were doing poorly, because they first had to adjust the current conditions of the advertising market. This is how Marlboro became a symbol of courage around the world. But in the 21st century they needed to come up with something new. Cowboys began to go out of fashion and marketers needed to find something that men still like. The answer is obvious, sports. Many people remember their ads on the cars from the Ferrari team in F1. One of the most brilliant marketing decisions was a barcode drawn on the car. Every time a car drives past you at the high speed, this barcode looks like a company logo. And despite the fact that every adult on earth is aware that smoking is dangerous, this doesn't prevent Marlboro from earning billions of dollars. For example, 82 billion in 2021. In the US, the company owns 43% of cigarettes market, more than the next 10 brands combined. And all thanks to brave marketers who are not afraid to take risks and step into uncharted territory. I wish you success and don't smoke, it's harmful.